it's Esther and Mommy Maria and welcome back so today we will be doing something a little bit different so we will be um, starting to do afternoon Bible bits with Esther and Mommy so yeah all right well let's get started today we are starting in Psalms Psalms chapter 1 and Esther would you like to tell them why you pick Psalms well, um, it's kind of random, but I picked Psalms because I kind of, you know, like it, and I kind of know about it a little more than other books in the Bible. So, yeah, I kind of understand what it's saying more. So, yeah. And I like it because it's a book of praise, and it's a book of prayer, and... Like Esther said before, she didn't say it on camera yet, but it reminds her of, like, um, a story. Yeah, like a poem or a paragraph, because it's short, you know? Um, so, yeah, we're going to read chapter one. Um, there is six verses. Uh, we'll probably, I'll probably read three verses, and you can read three verses. So, um, yeah. So, like, probably, we probably won't do this every day. Like, maybe, like, the days we can. Yeah, so our goal is to bless you all with the Word of God, and not just the fun things we do as a family, but yeah. um, the things that the Lord is speaking. And He's speaking through all of us, and He teaches us through His Word. And uh, we want to share that with you all, whether you are a believer in Yeshua, Jesus, or not. Um, we want to bless you. We hope that one day you would be, if you're not. And if you are, then this would encourage you, and we pray that it would bless you in your day. Yeah. So, um, I'm going to start um, three verses, then you can do three verses. So, you want to do first? Oh, uh, sure, yeah. So, um, Lord, please help us to have a good day. Help us to understand your word and put words on our minds so we'll know what to say to everyone. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So, I'm going to start. Happy is the person who doesn't listen to the wicked. He doesn't go where sinners go. He doesn't do what bad people do. He loves the Lord's teachings. He thinks about those teachings day and night. He is strong like a tree planted by a river. It produces fruit in season. Its leaves don't lie. Everything he does will succeed. Verse 4. The wicked are not so, but they are like chaff, which the wind drives away. Therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. Yep. All right, well, let's go over this. Let's start in the beginning. Esther, what stood out to you in the verses you just read? Um, what stood out to me is probably the part or God said, um, like, the wise people don't do what wicked people do. The wise don't, um, like, um, doesn't listen to what the wicked says. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, and wicked can mean different things. It can mean the evil spirits and the principalities, or it could be people in general that are listening to the enemy yeah. that are trying to get us to do bad things. It could be every day mainstream stuff that we see in our in our world which is mainly bad unfortunately until the lord returns things will be this way because he needs to come back and reset it so the goal is not to listen to the enemy right yeah and so what's one way that we know we can overcome that by what are we doing well um reading the bible and, and letting it letting it like transform our minds mm -hmm. by renewing of the mind by reading and hearing the word of god right and also if the devil or wicked spirits try to talk to you you rebuke it away from you and not listen to it because if you do it could tell you to do bad things and you don't want to do bad things so no, yeah that's right because you have a choice you can hear those things but you don't have to do it no one can make you do that you have yeah. to agree with it when the devil talked to me, sometimes I listened to him because I was really angry. I didn't know what to do. Sometimes I blamed it on my siblings when I did something wrong because I didn't know what else to say because I was very mad. So the devil told me to blame it on them and blah, 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 and stuff like that. So, yeah, 
you shouldn't listen to the devil. Yeah, so that's a really good lesson, is that when we get upset, we should be quiet, not to say the things that overflow out of our mouth that would curse others. Mm -hmm. Instead, go to God and ask Him to help us to calm down, first of all. And then, um, as we calm down, we'd be able to think more clear and not agree with what the lying spirits tell us to do. Because one way the devil comes in is through anger. Yeah. Okay, so what else stood out to you? Anything else you want me to say? Well, I remember that um, sinners won't, will not worship God with good people. So, like, you know, when we worship God, the devil doesn't want us to do that. So, um, like, sinners don't want to worship God with good people. Right, because they want to do bad things, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, like, just the devil says so many things. He hates everything that we love about God. Like, I love that. Well, the devil doesn't really like God. So, not at all. Not at all. And if, like, I love God, and the devil tries to tell me to not love God. Um, so, yeah. And one way of not loving God is to disobey his word. And like in verse 2, it says, His delight is in the law of the Lord. So the law is His commandments. It's His Torah. It's front to back. Genesis to Revelation. As believers, we are all grafted into the commonwealth of Israel. And we are Israelites. Grafted in. And we are all commanded to follow His word. To follow His commands. And uh, so it says we should meditate on it day and night. Which means we should think about it day and night. And so when we do that, we think of the things that we go through in our day. And we think of the things that we did right and the things that we did wrong. And we say, you know what, I, I could have responded better to that in that situation. Because God's word is growing us in love and in character yeah. as well. Because the, 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 the most important thing is to love. Well, God says, if you love me, you'll obey me. And that's all of his commandments. Okay? Yeah, um, well, what really... I'm still trying to kind of understand it, um, the thing about disobeying. So, my mom said when you disobey, you're really disobeying God. And it took a while for me to understand, and now I do. The reason why when you disobey your parents and you disobey God, God tells your parents to say those things to your kids, like clean your room, do your homework, read your Bible, and stuff like that. And... I'm actually really disobeying God, because God's telling my mom to do it. It's kind of hard to understand, but I got the hang of it, of understanding it. Yeah, so the things that um, the Bible says is to obey your mother and your father, mm -hmm. and um, it, things will go well with you. So the things that we do is we're training you to do to do things that you're supposed to um, to do in your in, in your life, and to train you to be an adult one day, and to train you to do the things that we ask you to do to be helpful around the house and mainly to grow in your own walk with the Lord. That's why we put God first, right? That's why we're doing this video is to have memories of the times that we um, are discussing what's most important in our day, which is the Word of God, right? And Him. Him all the time. Yeah. Um, let's see. Sometimes... Um a few years ago when we lived in our old house and, and here too my mom always told me to before you even make your bed or anything when you wake up read your bible and pray that you have a good day because that is a good way to start your day and i did it a few times but sometimes i mostly do it when i'm before i go to bed i don't know why i just don't really like doing it in the morning but my mom told me to do that because it's a good way to start your day. And it's not a very good way to start your day with an argument or anything. So, yeah. And it also is good to start your day with praying and reading your Bible so that you would have a good day and not a bad day. Because no one wants a bad day. Mm -hmm. So make sure to pray and read your Bible before you wake up and stuff like that. Or before you get out of the house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so one thing I want to mention about sinners, we are all sinners. We all fall short of the glory of God. However, there's a way of atonement for us. Because once sin started with Adam and Eve in the garden, 
um, there needed to be an atonement, death, bloodshed, and that was Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach, okay? So since we do know him and we receive him as our Savior, um, our sins are covered by the blood, but that doesn't mean we don't make mistakes and sin. We have to always go back and ask God to help us and forgive us because that's what he says to do in his word. But ultimately, he paid the price so we don't have to die. That's what he did. That doesn't mean that we're never going to sin again. We all have struggles and we live in a fallen world. But there are people that are considered wicked people and that they will perish. Those are the ones who don't receive Yeshua as their Savior. So there's two different types of people we're talking about here. Saved or on the way to the path of the salvation and those who don't receive the Lord. So when it talks about they will, the wicked will perish, that's what that means. It's not that, oh, we're sinners and we're going to perish. No, but apart from God, everyone will perish. So you need to receive him as your savior. So really our discussion of the Bible is an actual evangelistic tool too. So whoever doesn't know Yeshua and Jesus or Jesus, we're trying to say his Hebrew and English name for those who know or don't know it. Ultimately, you need to make a decision when when uh, you feel the Lord leading you. And I believe this video is helping you all to make that decision because why would you be watching it, right? And uh, yeah. if you do know the Lord, then praise the Lord and uh, we pray that you will be encouraged. And if say you went to the wrong path, that this man help lead you back to the right path because he's the only way to joy and salvation and to love. You can't love without his love. Um, so yeah uh, so yeah okay. and also we are not trying to force you to believe in god mm -hmm. we're just helping you to understand why to believe in god and not to do bad things and so yeah we're not trying to make you believe in god because you have a choice yeah. yeah so we're just trying to help you guys get through all your problems and just get to know god more so that maybe you can see us in heaven one day yeah well, we are on our path of salvation. We were saved, we're being saved, and one day we will be saved when he returns. It's really interesting um, to look at it that way. And like Esther said, we do have a choice, and he doesn't want to take our choice away. Adam and Eve had a choice in the beginning, and they did disobey, unfortunately. And uh, when we think about that, we probably maybe would have done the same thing, you know? But... God had a perfect plan of redemption for us, and that's Yeshua, Jesus. So if you don't know him, I pray that you will receive him and get to know him through our through our, our, um, t our uh, Bible bits with Esther in the afternoon. We'll continue to do this, and we pray this will bless you. Yeah. Anything else you want to say before we end? Um, Make sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next video, Bible Bits with Esther, in the afternoon. All right, well, I'll end this in prayer. Okay. Father, we just thank you for this day. We love you. We praise you. We give you honor and glory to your name. Lord, we just thank you that we know you, Father, and that you're, by your Holy Spirit, leading us to obey your word, your law, your beautiful law. And so, Lord, we just pray that this podcast will um, bless those who are watching um, to know more about you. And we love you. And in Yeshua's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Bye. I hope you guys like it. Bye.